Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. As most of you know that an ongoing outbreak of monkeypox, a viral disease was confirmed in May 2022. So the topic of our discussion today is monkeypox. And as an obstetrician and gynecologist, I will talk about its obstetric care considerations according to ACOG guidelines. So how the terminology of MPOX came into existence? On November 28, 2022, following a series of consultation with a global expert, the WHO selected the term MPOX, which will be used as the preferred synonym for monkeypox. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is also aligning their terminology with this recommendation from WHO in recognition of the stigma and other associated issues with the term monkeypox acog is adopting the term mpox in place of monkeypox let us talk about worldwide background and history of mpox since early may 2022 the case of mpox have been reported in non-endemic part of the world and CDC and its local health partners are tracking thousands of the cases of MPOX in the United States and all over the world. On July 2022, the CDC released a Health Alert Network Health Update summarizing the available recommendations and resources for certain populations including the pregnant and breastfeeding individuals. What is the causative agent of MPOX? MPOX is caused by infection with the monkeypox virus. Monkeypox virus is a part of the same family of viruses as variola virus, the virus that causes the smallpox. It is not related to the virus that causes the chickenpox varicella zoster virus. MPOX symptoms are similar to smallpox symptoms. The question arises how MPOX spreads from one person to another. MPOX spreads from one person to another through direct contact with the infectious rash, scabs or body fluids, respiratory secretions during prolonged face-to-face -face contact or during intimate physical contact and touching items such as clothing or linens that previously touched the infectious rash or body fluids. It is also possible for the people to get mpox from infected animals either by being scratched or bitten by the animals or by preparing or eating meats or using the product from an animal according to CDC. The question rises can monkeypox be transmitted from infected mother to newborn? Pregnant people can spread the virus to their fetus through placenta and through close contact with the newborn. CDC transmission. Now, what is the course of monkeypox infection? Mpox can spread from time symptoms starts until the rash has fully healed and a fresh layer of skin has formed. The illness typically lasts two to four weeks. Spread of Mpox from people without symptoms has not been observed. At this time, it is known whether Mpox can spread through semen, vaginal fluids or breast milk. What are the signs and symptoms of MPOX infection, especially during pregnancy? The signs and symptoms of MPOX infection in people who are pregnant appear similar to those of the non-pregnant people with MPOX infection. And those include fever, lymph adenopathy, lethargy, pharyngitis, headache, myalgia, and rash. Rash associated with MPOX infection can be found in anagenital area, trunk, arm, legs, face, palms, and soles, etc. This picture also shows the monkeypox warning signs, which include fever, headache, muscle, and backache, swollen lymph nodes, chills, and exhaustion, along with the rash. Now, what should an obstetric care clinician know about diagnosing MPOX in the pregnant woman? First of all, the, an obstetrician should know about the appearance of rash. Rash in a person who is pregnant with a risk factors for MPOX needs to be differentiated from other skin conditions during pregnancy. Importantly, MPOX lesion can mimic those of other skin infections such as molluscum contagiosum and during current outbreak lesions have been common in the genital regions. Therefore, MPOX should be a differential diagnosis for any patient presenting with a rash or genital lesion.
patients with rashes initially consider characteristics of more common infections for example very cell zoster or sexually transmitted infection should be carefully um, evaluated for mpox rash let us talk about the specific tests for monkeypox infection the initial test is PCR for monkeypox virus. Mpox is diagnosed by PCR test for the monkey virus on viral swab taken from one or more vesicles or ulcers. Swabs should be sent in a viral transport medium. The next test is confirmatory test which is NAT test. Confirmation of monkeypox virus infection is based on the nucleic acid amplification testing using real time or conventional PCR for detection of unique sequences of viral DNA. Who should be tested for Mpox infection? The diagnostic approach to a patient with a suspected Mpox infection is the same for the pregnant and non-pregnant people. And if a patient presents with the signs and symptoms of Mpox infection, diagnostic testing should be considered, especially if the person has risk factors for Mpox infection. Let us talk about mortality and morbidity associated with Mpox in pregnancy. There are limited data on Mpox infection on in pregnancy. Mon monkeypox virus can be transmitted to fetus during pregnancy or to a newborn by close contact during or after childbirth. Adverse pregnancy outcomes including the spontaneous pregnancy loss and stillbirths have been reported in cases of confirmed Mpox infection during pregnancy. Preterm delivery and neonatal Mpox infection have also been reported. Let us talk about infection control measures. The infection control practices for the care of patients who are pregnant with Mpox infection are the same as those for patients who are not pregnant with Mpox infection. And this includes the appropriate isolation of the patient with Mpox, training for the healthcare personnel on maternity and the newborn care units on correct adherence to infection control practices and PPE. Furthermore, the visitors to the pregnant or postpartum patients with the Mpox should be strictly limited to those essential for the patient's care and well-being. Let us talk about protective equipments against monkeypox. The CDC outlines infection control recommendations for prevention of Mpox in healthcare settings. Secondly, standard precautions should be applied for all the patient's care including for the patients with suspected Mpox. Thirdly, the clinician should use appropriate personal protective equipment prior to evaluation of a suspicious rash, which, which should include the gown, gloves, eye shields, and other equipments like NIOSH approved particularly as respirator with the N95 filters or higher. Now, the common question is there any vaccination against Mpox or not? Currently, there are two vaccinations two type of vaccines available for Mpox and those include JYNNEOS, Gyneos and ACAM vaccine. Gyneos can be offered to people aged 18 years and older. ACAM was initially licensed for smallpox infection in 2007 but there is moderate evidence that it works against the monkey virus um, infection as well. What are the treatment options for pregnant women with Mpox? There are several treatment options and those include Tecovirimat, Cedofovir and Brincidofovir, Vaccinia Immune Globulin Intravenous. Let us discuss the timing of delivery in the absence of obstetric indication. Preterm or early preterm delivery is currently not recommended for patient with suspected or confirmed Mpox. Mode of delivery. There is currently no evidence to recommend cesarean delivery in all pregnant patients with a previous or current Mpox infection. Advice regarding the breastfeeding. Breast milk is the best source of nutrition for the newborn. However, given that Mpox virus spread by close contact, the breast milk should be pumped and discarded during the time of the breastfeeding. I would like to complete my presentation with this quote, a strong person and waterfall always carve their own path. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best. Allah Hafiz.